all of them tang in here with Edson Marine. For most sailors, when they turn the wheel and the boat turns, life is good. What connects the wheel to the rudder is often out of sight and out of mind. Most sailors tend to forget that their steering system's life is on the clock as soon as the boat leaves the factory. Chain and wire steering systems do not last forever, especially in salt water. Salt water accelerates the corrosion of metal, and your chain and wire steering system is made up of almost entirely metal components. Stainless and aluminum provide great strength, but it comes with a trade-off, which is corrosion. What you can do to prevent steering failure is to perform regular inspections and have a preventative maintenance schedule. The four specific areas or assemblies where care and maintenance needs to be performed on your chain and wire steering system are the chain and wire itself, the clutch and throttle cables that control your engine, the needle bearings that your wheel shaft rides on, and the idler assembly beneath your pedestal along with any other ships. In salt water, we strongly recommend you replace your chain and wire every seven to 10 years, just like your standing rigging. Areas with higher salt and rich environments, such as Southern Florida, Bahamas, and the Caribbean, we suggest replacement every three to five years. It doesn't matter how shiny it looks or what maintenance you've performed, you should stick to the replacement schedule outlined by where you sail. What you're trying to avoid is steering failure. The issue is that you can't see the problem, which is crevice corrosion. Over time, salt and moisture infiltrate the voids between the pins and the links of the chain. Deprived of oxygen, the stainless corrodes, and the structural integrity is compromised. The chain may look perfect from the outside right up until the moment it breaks. Edson's Chain Care Plus is designed to make annual maintenance easier and avoids the mess of the traditional 30 weight motor oil. The 360 degree nozzle and additional extended nozzle deliver a range of application options that allow for full chain and wire coverage even getting those last couple of trouble links. Chain Care Plus delivers an unrivaled smooth feel and the best in corrosion and wear protection. This maintenance should be performed annually, twice a year if possible. We strongly urge you to use the same replacement schedule for your engine control cables as you would for your chain and wire. They're subject to the same fatigue and crevice corrosion. Although unlike chain and wire, there is no effective way to lubricate your engine control cables. They come equipped with a self-lubricating lining, which eventually wears out. The needle bearings are what your wheel shaft rides on inside the top of your pedestal. It doesn't matter if your boat is in salt water or fresh, the Delrin cage that holds the needle bearings together is eventually going to wear out. Once it breaks, the needle bearings will not work effectively slowly causing damage to the shaft and the bearing carrier. There are some cases where they have jammed the steering system altogether, rendering your emergency tiller and autopilot useless. We recommend replacing these components every 10 to 15 years under typical use. If you are crossing oceans on a regular basis, please plan on swapping these parts out more frequently. Please note, you are better off inspecting or replacing your chain and wire, engine control cables, and the needle bearings all at the same time. With any of these preventative maintenance items, you have to take the top of your pedestal off or access the steer. It's like doing three surgeries with one incision. To replace the needle bearings, you have to pull the shaft. To pull the shaft out of the pedestal, you have to get the chain and wire up and off the sprocket. In most cases, this is easiest if done back at the radial or quadrant. Once the shaft along with the chain and wire are out of the way, replacing the needle bearings is possible and now you will have the most amount of room to pull out your engine control cables. This is the idler assembly that doubles as the backing plate for your pedestal. It is mounted under deck and bolted to the bottom of the pedestal. Depending on the configuration of the steering system, there are different idler assemblies that might be necessary. Hanging down from the backing plate are two shivs or pulleys. These redirect the wires coming down the pedestal towards the rudder post. You should inspect your idler at least once a year for excessive wear and play and lubricate the pins if they seem dry. While inspecting all of these components, make note and take pictures of the components that you replaced. Also note the date of the inspection and schedule your next inspection. To help you maintain your steering system, Edson has put together a chain and wire inspection checklist. This list goes over all of the components in your steering system. 
To assist with inspection, Edson maintains steering system data sheets of over 4,000 boats, many of which are available online. In the description below, there is a link to a downloadable chain and wire inspection checklist, as well as a link to our webpage for sailboat steering data. If you have any questions, please post your comments below or give us a call. And of course, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. One. Am I allowed to pick my nose? <laughs> yeah, where do you want my hands? I'm gonna do them. Yeah. Your name? Yep, I know. <laughs>